Why was the color purple only worn by royalty or the wealthy during ancient times? Now, this is uh, on display at the museum in Vienna, but it shows where the color purple originates. You guys, it's from snails. <laughs> it's from snails. And somebody had to go in the water and pick up each snail. And these snails were usually found in the Mediterranean. In fact, we're looking at a zoomed in view of Jerusalem here in the modern country of Israel. But if you go north on the coast to modern day Lebanon, you'll see the cities of Tyre and Sidon. Uh, we'll zoom into Tyre and see the old city center. Tyre and Sidon both had a huge industry for dyeing fabric, including making this color purple. Somebody had to harvest these snails. Now, let me, let me tell you about how they actually made the dye. This is fascinating. Now, each snail only produced a few drops of this precious secretion. And so huge quantities were needed for commercial purposes, right? Um, and by some accounts, it took 250,000 snails to get one tablespoon of purple dye. That is a lot of snails. Someone would collect them by hand. They would then crush them, salt them over three days, and then they would boil them for 10 days more. You <laughs> Only then would they release that rich purple color. And you can see there's variation in the shade of purple as well. And the thing that might gross you out the most is that when you think about dyeing fabric, right, you've, you've probably dyed Easter eggs before. Uh, what, what do you use to make it color fast so that the, the dye stays? Well, with Easter eggs, we use vinegar, okay? In this case, for this fabric in the first century, they used urine. That's what they had, works pretty well. And you might imagine the smell of the vats and uh, imagining that smell, you would understand that it was usually kept outside the city walls. <laughs> We're gonna keep that over there where the wind doesn't pick up that smell. Uh, the hilarious part though, and this totally reminds me of Hunger Games, the fabric. I mean, it's got crushed, salted, boiled snail juice mixed with urine. You guys, the fabric stunk. How would you like to be walking around in your lovely purple vestments and dresses and attire but you're walking around smelly. It was smelly purple fabric, but it was a fashion statement. I mean, it's total Hunger Games. I love it. I, that's the picture <laughs> I get in my mind. But you can see how extravagant this process is to produce this dye, let alone dye the fabric, let alone make the garments. This took a lot of people. And typically, we had kings and the uber wealthy wore purple, and that was it. And when Jesus starts this story, there was a rich man who was dressed in purple. They had an image and a smell <laughs> in their mind of what that would be like. Now that you know how this purple dye was made, can you name the places in the Bible where it's mentioned? Purple was found in the tabernacle, the temple, and on high priest garments. Daniel was clothed in purple, the rich man in Luke 16, Jesus' robe at the crucifixion, and we know that Lydia sold purple fabric. Be sure to check out the video description for even more links to learn more about the amazing color purple.